Now, Action 10's Cole Vaughn with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Welcome back everybody. We've been watching the radar closely throughout the day today as we've had little showers that have moved across the coastal bend. Nothing too significant though. As you look at Doppler radar right now here locally, you can see Nueces County is actually for the most part in the clear. We've had a couple of little sprinkles down there just to the west of Corpus Christi, but to everybody else at this point is clearing out from that little shower that moved through earlier. A wider view across the area. You can see those uh, rain showers moving off to the northeast, just moving out of Rockport as well. So it does look like we're going to be in for a little bit of a break, at least for the the next couple of hours or so for most of the coastal bend, but I do expect more rain to have the potential to develop later on tonight. Now these rainfall totals today have not been very impressive as expected. They've only been down there about a tenth of an inch or so for most locations. It looks like Rockport has been our uh, biggest winter so far today at 0.11 inches. So this has really been nothing more than just a little bit of a nuisance. It's made the roads wet and slippery. Now temperatures outside have not really made it any better. It's even colder. 46 in Corpus Christi and most of the area has been sitting in the mid to upper 40s throughout the afternoon today. So just a bitter day to be outside. Not only that, we've got the clouds as well. You can see that here on satellite, all of the white that's moving across the screen. That's all of the clouds that are moving across the area in addition to that rainfall. And as we take the wider view, look at all of the ice that was occurring just earlier this afternoon, just to the west of Dallas, fortunately not impacting the I-35 corridor, but places like I-20 between Dallas and Abilene, even San Angelo seeing some of those icier conditions earlier today. Now, what's causing all of this is a big uh, influx of Pacific moisture that is moving over the area. So you see it's all coming from the southwest, from the Pacific Ocean, and streaming over top of Texas. And that's helping to produce the clouds. And in some cases, that moisture is thick enough that it is actually producing some rainfall as well. In addition to that, you see this little swirl that's going on out here between Arizona and New Mexico. That's the storm system that's helping all of this to occur as well. So it's also responsible for a lot of this rain and cloud cover. As we go throughout the night tonight and into tomorrow, Tomorrow, the storm system is going to start to move to the east, and when it does so, we're going to start to see skies clear. I think by very late tomorrow, when we start to see this area of low pressure move just to our north. So once we're on the south side of it, the skies should clear. However, if that doesn't occur until tomorrow evening, we may not see that sunshine because the skies would clear after the sun sets. One thing more certain, though, is what happens on Friday. We see a lot of sunshine across the coastal bin. The clouds are going to move off to the east and those temperatures are going to actually warm up into the 60s again, thanks to all of that sunshine. So a quick look at the weekend forecast, because not only does it look nice for Friday, Saturday's looking fantastic as well. Mostly sunny skies and pretty light winds and a temperature making it up there into the low 70s. By Sunday, we warm up a little further around 75 degrees, but the clouds are going to increase throughout the day. That'll all be ahead of next week's weather. Overall, Sunday, though, is not going to be too bad of a day. So for tomorrow's forecast, we're going to be watching future tracker because the there is going to be that potential for some lighter rain earlier in the morning, but it is going to end. You see this is by about seven o'clock in the morning, still in the area, but as we get toward nine or 10 in the morning, the chance really begins to diminish and we're just dealing with that cloud cover. As we get into the afternoon, we do start to see the skies clear. As I said, though, if this occurs just a little bit later, we may not see that sun or the skies clear until after the sun has already set. So you see that high temperature tomorrow around 58 degrees, another cool day for us with that north wind. So here's your seven day forecast as we get into the week weekend, as I said, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Some of the clouds start to work back in for Sunday and Monday ahead of another cold front between Monday and Tuesday. Overall, things are looking a lot warmer for next week, and there's not really the potential of much rain either.